You might have seen one of these before, it's a Chinese spouting bowl, but what you might not know is it has something to say about the way we wash our dishes. But first of all, let me show you what it does. So how was I able to make the water jump out of the bowl? The trick is in the preparation. You have to wash your hands first with soap and water. And you have to wash the handles of the bowl as well. That's to get rid of any oil that might be on there. And your skin naturally produces oil anyway, so you have to get rid of that. That's because friction is really important for this process to work, and oil reduces friction. So. When you press your hands down on the handles of the bowl and try and push them forwards, you can't initially because the force of friction is holding them in place. But if you push hard enough, then you can overcome the force of friction and your hands will jump forward and re-stick. But if you keep pushing your hands forward, then you get this kind of repeating pattern where your hands jump forward and stick, then jump forward and stick again, and jump forward and stick, and jump forward and stick. This jumping and stopping sends vibrations into the bowl and into the water, so you see ripples on the surface of the water. But you can vary the frequency of those vibrations by varying how hard you press down on the handles with your hands. And if you can get it just right, then you can hit the resonating frequency of the bowl. And when you hit the resonating frequency of something, then the amplitude goes up. So now the bowl is vibrating more violently, if you like, and so we can expect the ripples on the surface of the water to be higher. But actually, you can only increase the height of ripples on the surface of water to a certain point, after which the wave dynamics kind of break down and you end up just shooting water upwards. So what's this got to do with your washing up? Well, if the conditions are right, this repeated jumping and stopping motion can happen so quickly that it's an audible frequency. And that's where the expression squeaky clean comes from. There used to be an advert in the UK for a washing up liquid that said it was so good that it would make all your dishes squeaky clean. But really, any old washing up liquid can get rid of the oil on your dinner plates. The trick to making something squeaky clean is actually to wash your hands as well. So, there you go. The Chinese spouting bowl and the squeaky clean sound. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.